Hey, what's up guys? Good morning, November 23rd. Through wisdom, a house is built. By knowledge, the rooms are filled. You may be the one who lives your life pursuing fame and fortune, depending on applause of others. It's a bad plan. To begin with fortune has shallow rules. The winds of adversity can quickly blow it away. Fame is as fickle as the last response from the crowd. Learn a dual lesson. When you're praised and applauded, don't pay attention. When you're rejected and abused, don't quit. Let's repeat the scripture. Through wisdom, a house is built. By knowledge, the rooms are filled. God gives wisdom. When you receive that wisdom, you get knowledge. And I feel like what I'm hearing the most from this is be humble. Because when you're praised and applauded, don't pay attention. When you're rejected and abused, don't quit. I think being humble is probably one of the hardest things, especially in these times. You know, because naturally, when we do something that we are proud of, we kind of want to boast in ourselves. And I think it's a fine line of boasting and just, you know, giving yourself a little bit of credit. But I think the majority of that credit, we should be given to God. And I don't, man, let me tell you, I repeat this over and over because I understand that these messages, when people bring these, they, they come off as holier than thou to their viewers. Listen, we are all on this same page. Nobody is greater than the next. It doesn't matter about your status. It doesn't matter about your money. It doesn't matter about your achievements. We all wake up the same every morning because God gives us breath. Every night we go to bed and we wake up. We don't even know how we wake up. We don't even know what wakes us up. But those who believe in God understand that he wakes us up every morning because I think it's a phenomenon that you just pass out at night. Go into this dream state, or maybe you don't even have dreams, which is even freakier sometimes. You just go black out and you wake up the next morning to enjoy his glory once again. That's why we have to be humble. It's, it's just simple as that. Like I'm breathing right now, I'm healthy, I'm moving. I have all my senses. I got my brain. I got all my organs moving and doing well as I know it. I can only thank him for that. I can't give myself that credit. So, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting into, I'm doing real estate school. Soon when I sell a home, how am I really, it, 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 this it seems extreme. This seems extreme, but I, it's helped me a ton to realize what humble really means. Say I eventually sell a home, make a nice commission, be able to help my family, help myself out, help my status out a lot better, right? And I'm like hyped about it. Yeah, look what I did, look what I did. Yet, I had to walk to that listing, I had to walk to my car, I had to get in my car, I had to talk to the people, use my senses, I had to sell the home, later keep doing business and finalize the contract, right? What if I couldn't talk? What if I couldn't walk? What if I couldn't breathe? What if I wasn't healthy enough? What if I didn't have a car? <laughs> These are all blessings from God. These are all blessings from God. This is nothing I could take credit for. I don't even want to take credit for it. I'm just, I'm very grateful that God gave me passions and I'm able to pursue them and that he gives me the desires of my heart when it's lined up to his will. Because not all your desires are lined up with God's will, right? I mean, come on, we've all, I do, you know, I'm not proud of my attitude. I'm not proud of my mouth sometimes. I'm not proud of my decision sometimes. And I know when I'm not proud of them, that's because it doesn't line up to his will. But when I'm reading his word, when I'm keeping that humble mindset, when I'm interacting with people in a loving way, when I'm not talking about people, when I'm 
all these good things. We know what's good and bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the, you know, we could get into this gray area of life, but let's, let's just keep it very simple. We know what's good and what's bad. Number one rule, right? Treat others the way that you want to be treated, right? Everybody wants to be treated with love, respect, kindness. They want to be caring. They want to be giving, right? But are you those things, you know? At times, I'm not those things, but at times I am those things. So I'm, I'm delighted when I'm lined up with his will and I feel down when I'm not lined up with his will. And, and when I feel down, I talked about this in a TikTok. I said, I don't hop on the shame train, you know, like that's one of the biggest tricks the devil has for you is to keep you in a state of shame, in a state of guilt. That is not God. Of course, you should be, you should feel some type of way when you have done something wrong, right? You should feel like that was something you screwed up, something that is not good, right? I feel like my, the video is shaking a little bit, so I don't want it to shake too much. So, you know, you should feel, you know, down about that, but don't hop on the shame train, man, you know, like, just get right back on the grind. You know, what I what I like to do is I like to go back and, and read these verses of the day and read and read some of his word and just lock into that because, you know, he speaks to you through his word and he speaks to you and he's going to make you feel good about yourself, man. We're not here to be shaming ourselves and guilting ourselves. We're here to push forward, man. We're here to keep fighting. We're here to just keep moving and keep building. You know, because if you're not building, you're, you're, you, it, like, it's, if you're not winning, you're losing. You know, it's a black and white game, man. You know, if you're not growing, you're not staying the same. You're diminishing, right? It's just like working out. If you're not going to the gym consistently, you're not building muscle. If you're going to the gym consistently, you're building muscle. You're growing. So, you know, I try to want to apply those same things. I got a fly. This fly is going to try to bend in my house, man. Probably about to die because... He's got no water. I got to get him out of here. Um, sorry, I get distracted with that. I don't like killing things, man. Like everything has a life. Everything deserves to live. I didn't create this fly. I, I, I you know, I, I try not to. I ain't gonna lie. Like when I have some spiders in my house, I'm like, I gotta catch you with a vacuum, man, and then try to let you out. I feel bad when I like mess up one of their legs or something like that. I feel bad about that, man. Like I've always been a loving person towards wildlife and people, man. Like, you know, I'm not saying I'm perfect. Trust me. I've had my days. I have, and, and I still currently have my days, but you know, I just, you know, that scripture today was really nice, man. Like, it's just be humble, man. And humble is such a deep meaning, man. God shows me how to be humble all the time, you know, through experiences, through his word, so it's not an, it's definitely, it's definitely not an easy thing, but I think it's something that's very important. And I always think about this, you know, like, what do you keep in the forefront of your mind throughout your day? You know, I think that's so important. What do you keep in front of your mind all day long? You know, like, are you, are you thinking, are you not thinking about being humble? Are you not thinking about um, how, how amazing and blessed you are to be where you're at in the, in the situation you are? Because trust me, man. I know there's people in way, 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 way worse situations. And I don't feel like I'm in a bad situation at all. I give glory to God because this is amazing, the situation I'm in. I got married. I have a loving family. My wife is amazing. My friends are crazy awesome. Strangers that I meet. I have great interactions with people. Life is beautiful, man. Like, praise God. <laughs> Life is great. And, you know, the days that I'm off, the, just what helps me is what I'm keeping in my mental, you know, like, what am I feeding myself? Am I feeding myself nonsense or am I feeding myself wisdom? So let's just, let's just review that scripture one more time, man. One more time, one more time, because it's so good. It's so good. Through wisdom, a house is built by knowledge. The rooms are filled. That's Proverbs 24 verses three through four. Through wisdom, a house is built. Through wisdom, you are built. By knowledge, the rooms of the house are filled. How, what a great parable that is, right? Think of a home, right? 
that home needs to be built on a solid foundation, right? So we are a home, but what is our foundation? Is our foundation the world and what it says and all the all the different chaotic things that's going on in the world and are we sub you know what is our found foundation you have to pick one you can't serve two masters so even if you think you're not serving something you are you have to pick you know and if you don't pick you pick by default right if it's not yes then what is it it's not maybe it's no <laughs> you know let's be honest so you are a home we build our foundation on god he is our rock foundation, solid. Storms come, blow, house never sways, right? But in that home, we want to furnish it. We want to make it our own. We want to make it beautiful. We want to make it customized to us, right? That's where knowledge comes from. So God gives you the wisdom. And then through the wisdom, you receive knowledge and understanding of that wisdom. So when you're receiving from God, you thank him for the wisdom and you thank him for the knowledge that you are receiving. And with that knowledge, you now fill your home. You fill this vessel that was once toxic and through the blood of Christ has been cleansed. And every day you are a new being, a new creature that is in its pursuit of what God has for your life. And that's a beautiful thing. That is a beautiful thing. I hope you guys have a amazing day. I hope this has brought you some value in some way. All praises be to God. This is not for my glory at all. I just share what God is teaching me in hopes that it helps other people. Peace, guys.